day. I just spent uh, the first half of the day today looking at properties in North Orange County uh, for a site, a site that we're going to open. And we think we found one. So I have like video of it, but I, I hopefully we're going to go again on Monday so that the other partners can take a look at it too. And uh, we're going to be doing psychiatry and general medicine. Who is this person you sent me? I have no, it's a potential student and he has his employer sponsoring him, but they're asking all these questions. I mean, Chris filled out like a four page survey and he wanted like a success story of a student because their their job, uh, their employer wants to sponsor the CRA Academy, which is good, good for them. Uh, two minute school. Thank you so much for all your comments. Uh, it really helps the algorithm. All you guys that comment, that like, that subscribe, uh, whether it's Instagram with the hearts flashing across the screen or LinkedIn with the whatever button you push or YouTube or with the likes or Facebook with the whatever they have a hundred emotions. Um, it helps the algorithms. Yeah, Gazelle, I thought, wow, too. I mean, he did say if it was easier to do it by phone. So I don't know if you want us to set up a, like an any meeting, whatever is easier for you or not. I mean, we, if you want, just talk to me and Chris and we'll do it for you. I didn't actually think about that. Uh, so happy Friday, guys. Networking, I just did a video with Monica and Chris as we were looking for property. Uh, we did a video on the importance of networking and why, why is it, and I don't think it's coincidence, so why is it that all the students from the CRA Academy and CRC Academy, the majority of them who get hired right away, it's no coincidence, they're the ones networking, they're the ones putting themselves out there and networking constantly, networking like crazy, by the way. It drained, it drained all, like almost all my energy to look for property to lease for our site. And I've been doing this all year. Um, but we finally found a really good realtor who's making life a lot easier. As you can tell, had something organized for us. And saw something that we think is going to work, actually. So excited to do that before I move to Arizona. You know, we got like four more months. Four more months, so gonna get that site stabilized before I officially make the move. Uh, L Carter, Viv, uh, NGLB70. How how's everybody doing? By the way, who's got iPhone? Who has an iPhone? And uh, hey, Danny B, how's it going? Happy Friday, Neha. Happy Friday as well. Networking, networking, networking. That is right. That could be a quote for Carlos, actually. Let's have this be a quote. That'll be the next Carlos quote. Simple to the point. And then he'll put like interesting uh, background for the image quote for Instagram. Uh, what, uh, what's what been going on? How's, how have people been looking at the stock markets and playing the biotech stocks? Because those have been interesting as well. Uh, it's been certainly helping my YouTube channel. And then Latinos in Clinical Research has been getting very busy actually I just created two prezzies one is an overview of the first prezi like what is Latinos in clinical research and the other one is something I we have planned for college and university outreach and we even have some for like teaching hospital teaching hospital outreach this mic was upside down but it, these mics are so good it doesn't even matter these are good mics so if iPhone, you already know what I'm going to say, Clubhouse. Okay, you got to go be on Clubhouse at 5 Pacific time today. So in two hours, I'm going to be live. Uh, but I also wanted to let you guys know, I uh, latinosinclinicalresearch.com, the website's redone. So now we have everything more organized. We have a calendar. You should still subscribe because you'll get notified of the Zoom uh, meetings. 
but we have like an extensive written article section and a video section and a podcast section. So whatever it is that um, you need, whether it's written, visual, or audio, you have it there. And Eileen, our writer, we've been giving her topics. And let me see when the last one she did. Okay, so yeah, I'm caught up to date. So she's, we're going to be posting a bunch of new articles next week on Latinos in clinical research. We've been busy. We've been putting in the work. Forward clinical research, how is it going? Luis Garzon? How are you? No iPhone, it's okay. You can still network, just not on Clubhouse yet. You can still network on LinkedIn. You can still network. Here's the thing about networking. This is like for the video that's the short video that's gonna come out Monday. The thing about networking is it's not about what what's in it for you. It's really like servant. You need to be like a servant. You need to help other people achieve their goals. And interestingly enough, when you do that, good things will start happening to you as well. And people appreciate that more and people are more willing to help you if they see you helping other people. And it's not just all about you. So that's one thing I noticed on LinkedIn. It's great. People are sending their resumes everywhere, but that's all they're doing. There's no other activity other than them sending their resumes to people. Like what about you sharing someone else's post that they need help finding a job or they need help hiring somebody. Even if that somebody is not you that they're looking for, it doesn't hurt to hit share, send it to your network, possibly help somebody in your network, help the employer. I mean, people remember these kind of things. They don't remember when you just spam them your CV, all right? I know sometimes that works, but helping others goes further. Uh, going so well forward research. We'll have to talk about it soon. Okay, good. Busy? I hope busy because it's busy right now. So you can be on Clubhouse with an iPad. You, you can be on Clubhouse with an iPad. I would contact Christine Naro right where you are on LinkedIn. And let's accept another calendar invite for Latinos in clinical research. We're getting busy on that platform. That's keeping me busy, busy, busy. Uh, Ebony Woods, good evening. Good evening. Uh, if you want to be on Clubhouse, hit up Christine Naro. All right. So what else is on your guys' mind on Instagram? How busy are you guys getting forward clinical research? What studies are you doing? And what uh, what do you have going on? There she is, Christine Naro. I knew, I knew you would be there. And I have a feeling tonight's clubhouse is going to be uh, really active, really active, because you're inviting a bunch of people. Rod Raphael's inviting a bunch of people. Uh, Clindividual, which is Nadia, inviting a bunch of people. Black women in clinical research always invite a bunch of people. And I think I'm going to have Ashley from Latinos in Clinical Research on, Monica from Latinos in Clinical Research, and then I'm doing these live streams and videos always promoting the Friday Night Mixer for Clubhouse. Denise Taylor, Denise Trailer says stem cell study. What about it? I'm excited about those. I've actually worked on one before as a monitor. Um, those are interesting, interesting stuff. There's a lot going on with regenerative medicine, gene therapy, stem cell. It's a lot of interesting stuff in that realm. Uh, oh, Christine Naro, ophthalmology, good. And then you already know Ashley Margot, right? I mean, uh, I won't say it on air, but employers are, are a knocking, right? Employers are a knocking. And by the way, guys, Latinos in clinical research is getting approached by comp like CROs, vendors, job recruiters. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to tell you guys about um, Latinos in clinical research .com. We're posting job postings on there and internship openings. So anybody that has a job that needs to be filled in research, send it to me to dan at theclinicaltrustguru.com. I will post it. 
on latinosinclinicalresearch.com. Same thing with internship. And if you're somebody looking for jobs, you should be I'm getting a potential spam on my iPhone. Sorry, Instagram. Potential spams are always coming through and, me and messing up the stream. But if you are a um, job seeker, you should be looking at latinosinclinicalresearch.com regularly and you should be join you should be on our email list latinosinclinicalresearch.com and you should be uh joining our zoom meetings every month and then you of course you should be on these live streams interacting with the people in the comments because that's real networking ashley margot says big things coming ashley i want to see yes or no are you going to be on clubhouse tonight even if it's five minutes will you appear will you make an appearance where do you live? I live in Southern California, Orange. Orange County. I will move to Arizona, but California will always be home. Uh, thank you, Dan. As a CRC, your videos and advice help me at my everyday task. I appreciate it, CD. I really, really, really appreciate it. Denise Trailer says, chronic concussion with athlete and retired military rotator cuff tear. It's been a great learning experience. Wow. And it, yeah, it's amazing what stem cells are capable of doing. Stem cells, exosomes, gene therapy. When you get into oncology, CAR-T therapy, we just did a video on that of Clinical Research Circle. And I posted a little highlight of it on my channel as well on YouTube. Um, who else? Hey, Dan, I located my first PI. Is there an agreement template for the clinical site and PI that I can use? All you got to do, whatever state you're in, Google independent contract, independent contractor agreement. And because look, contracts are not enforceable. You have to go to court if you have a dispute. If, if you want to sue, it's going to cost you more than it's worth. So at the end of the day, you just want something in writing so that both parties know it's legit. Both <laughs> parties know it's official. So whatever state you're in, Google like California independent contractor agreement and you can get like a, if it's pdf you can convert it to word modify it for uh principal investigator or physician you can change it up a little bit too that's what we did for our clients if you are a client of ours we actually have a better template but we had an attorney make it and we have we have to have a conversation with our clients before they use it because it's a little more specific um but I mean, independent contractor, I've been using that for like over 10 years. It's very simple. Don't let those things bog you down. It's good that you get the PI. Just start working with them. Uh, next Tuesday. Yeah, next Zoom for Latinos in Clinical Research is on Tuesday. So go, go, go to latinosinclinicalresearch.com. It's our next monthly Zoom. Ashley says, yes, she will be there. All right. So that's good. That's good, guys. What else? Can't wait for the April class. Yes. Yes. Isolomela, thank you so much for joining. The April class, you guys are going to have a brand new streamlined experience. All right. With the actual modules, the learning modules. And then it's going to be the same experience that we've been having with the live classes on Saturdays. And then the internship is robust. I mean, we have, like, our interns get overwhelmed because it's you're doing what a CRA actually does. It's just remotely. It's virtually. And we're about to open it back up, hopefully soon, for in-person internships. Still not yet. Still no date in mind, but I'm thinking May, summer, summertime. So by the time the April class finishes, I think we'll have it open, open again. And I'm checking my email. Two other people right now, since I started live streaming, have emailed me about the CRA Academy. So yeah, it's gonna get full. It's gonna get full. And this is this is guys, look what Ashley, Christine, Neha, Danny, look what they're all doing in the comments. It's all networking with one another. This is how you use LinkedIn. This is true networking. Okay, it's not just about you and what you need. Of course, we all need things. Um but it's goes a lot further if you actually be if you yourself become a resource for others they naturally i mean the law of being a human is reciprocity one of the laws great would would there be any accommodations recommendations 
Yes, we will. We'll get you set up. Um, Pre-COVID, Chris and I were thinking of actually buying a house, calling it the CRA Academy Intern House, and treating it like an Airbnb when there's no students. Um, we don't have it yet because COVID changed the plans for that. But um, Airbnb is good for that. Yeah, most people come from outside California when they come here. So we, we're going to get you all set up because we're going to make sure that you, like when you come, that you're in close proximity to the site we're going to monitor in L.A., to the site that we have in Orange County, and to San Bernardino. So you want to be somewhere like central to all of that. So probably Long Beach. Long Beach would probably be good or like uh, Anaheim. Like a something central that you can go to. You can go to all the sites relatively quickly. Uh, what else? What else? Looking forward to it. Yes. Yes. We can't wait to have you guys come come again. Uh, the remote has been the remote monitoring. The remote internship has been really good. Uh, students have been getting hired. Students have been learning a lot. Um, but there's something about face to face that we all miss from i mean just from regular interactions too like zoom is great as much as i love zoom and these computer screens all day it's just no replacement no no um substitution for in person you need to get some sites here in austin only with your help ashley margo because i have no interest in opening a site that i own somewhere where I'm not located unless I partner with someone who has but then I gotta know them well good thing I know you well so that would work uh internship is for how long internships as long as you need it most students do three months but honestly some take longer six months we have some that have been doing it for over a year well actually we have some doing it over two years um we have others that never do it because they get hired before the internship starts from the academy. So uh, it just depends. It varies on you. And somebody else asked me, do you guarantee employment? No, we can't. How can we guarantee employment? We're not hiring anyone. So how can we guarantee employment? I mean, no university does this. Can you imagine if a university could guarantee employment? They're already charging 60 grand a year for tuition now if they guaranteed employment it would be like double right there's no it's all down to the individual because some people are go-getters other people are not some people network other people don't some people think of others other people don't that's the problem that's the problem the uh the internship is not paid no 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 uh Yogi was promoting your CRC Academy on Reddit. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who's on Reddit? Because I use Reddit to research stocks, but I did see like a clinical research career Reddit. That's another place to network, honestly, that I've just been dabbling with a little bit. And mainly because I've been looking at the stocks on Reddit. So then I got curious and looked at the clinical research subreddits. And I made a few comments here and there, but I need to get back into it more. Matter of fact, Christine and Ashley and Monica and Judy, uh, I think we need to be on Reddit also. Like, we need to have a presence on Reddit. Um, Ashley says, let's do it. I'm down. I'm down. Uh, I feel face-to-face -face is not too far. Fingers crossed. Exactly. Marjorie, right on cue. You are the guest presenter for next week's Latinos in Clinical Research. You, along with your P.I., um, and by the way, Yogi, thank you so much for promoting us on Reddit. Monica is going to be so thrilled. I'm ecstatic that people are, first of all, that people are actually on Reddit talking about clinical research. So there's more opportunity even for me, right? And, uh, for the, us and Latinos in research, for us at the CRC Academy, for us in the CRA Academy. But Marjorie, who's watching on YouTube right now, she's the guest presenter for next weeks on Tuesday, Latinos in Clinical Research. If you are, the email has not gone out yet, but on latinosinclinicalresearch.com, I have a calendar front and center with the Zoom ID and everything. All right, so you don't even need to wait for the email. 
you can just go to latinosandclunkerresearch.com right now, find the meeting ID. Now you have the Zoom. But I will send an email Monday about the Tuesday um, Zoom, and then I'll send a reminder on Tuesday as well. And Marjorie from Topaz Clinical Research is going to be presenting along with her PI. And we're going to be talking a lot about a lot of things, diversity, of course, but also about retention. we got to talk about retention because retention is something that people don't talk about. Uh, okay, what else? Dan, I am located in Florida. I have my own monitoring company. We need to talk. Let's talk, Carla. Let's talk. Please come on latinosandclinicalresearch.com as well. We would love to... Like, let's do some real networking on there. And then on Clubhouse tonight. If you have an iPhone, Clubhouse. I would love to talk. Edo, is there any training plan directed to senior CRAs for continuing learning? I don't think so. I think the closest thing to that is like SOCRA, what SOCRA offers. Society of Clinical Research Associates. I think they have certification courses. But um, like outside of SOCRA, no. No, there's barely any to help like people with no experience become series. <laughs> Marjorie says, thank you for the stock advice. We need more advice from you. Well, the biotechs have been getting crushed, but I saw that they somewhat recovered to close the day to day. So yeah, I've been, um, I haven't been nervous though. The, the one company I invested in KMPH, I invested it pre-approval. The FDA just approved it on Tuesday it was announced and then it went up like 40% in one day and then it tanked with the rest of the market but today I think it finished up for once so that's a, become a value play for me that's no longer risky KMPH chem farm uh, with the pro drug for Ritalin uh, they just got the FDA approval so like that to me that stock is very undervalued chem farm you might have to be patient like right now, I think it's trading at ten bucks. If you, I think it's gonna get to twenty or thirty in a few months, if not sooner. Depends on what the market does, but not financial advice, guys. Do your own due diligence on it. But I think Chem Farms undervalued, and they do have more stuff in the pipeline. Uh, the other one is probably gonna get approved too, because it's the same drug as the children one that was approved, but for adults. Sites in Georgia and North Carolina. Uh, site, there's a lot of sites in Atlanta. Atlanta's getting competitive. North Carolina, not so much. So North Carolina's a good place. Uh, Marjorie says, 5 p.m. Eastern time, Latinos and Clunker Research. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nancy Lockhart. Hello, Nancy. CRC Academy student and Clubhouse regular. Nancy Lockhart. Clubhouse regular. Um... Let's see what else we got here. Okay. ACRP has great info. Also ACRP. That's right. I have no personal experience with either ACRP or SOCRA other than paying for a few of my staff members to get ACRP certified. I was thinking about doing it for myself and then I thought, well, I don't really need this. Like, why would I do it? Only thing, only advantage I can think of is maybe it's going to help us with the CRA Academy and CRC Academy a little better, but not really. I don't think so. I mean, we're trying to keep things practical in our academies. You know, I think a lot of the ACRP and SOGRA stuff are more theoretical. Again, I haven't, all I know is I've written checks to them uh, for a few employees to get certified. Carla, really? Uh... Yeah, see, look, people networking. Carla said, hey, I have my own monitoring company. We need to talk. Boom. Somebody says, Carla, really? Maybe this somebody's from a biotech and really does can't afford a CRO, but they want a like Navy SEAL like you, like a specialist. Who's on Reddit? I want to see on Instagram. What What is your networking plan? Like March just started. What is your networking plan? Everybody, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram. What is your networking plan going forward? I have recently completed my bachelor in biology. How should I take the first step for clinical research? Could I get any entry-level job in this field? You need to network. You need to join Latinos in clinical research. You need to be on Clubhouse. You need to network with people in the comments. 
you need to apply to research sites in your area. You need to go try to intern at research sites in your area and go to my blog, theclinicaltrialsguru.com and click on land a career in the industry. It's going to give you hours of advice that I recorded, painstakingly recorded, lots of advice, but in short, you got to find a research sites. I think small is the new big. So you need to find research sites in your area. You need to figure out what they need. Look at their social profile. Look at their website. First, you got to know what you can provide. What else can you provide? Yeah, you have a bachelor in biology. That's great. But what can you provide immediately to the site? Uh, I would like to know more about the Clubhouse group channel. Yeah. Clinical Research Friday Night. Uh, I think it's called Friday Night Clinical Research Mixer. If you go on the clubhouse, just follow me, Dan Farah, and then when I get on there, I'll ping you. So just if you get a clubhouse, follow me, it's Dan Farah, and then hit the bell button when I go on, then you'll know what room it is. But it's every Friday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific, and that's p.m. Because a.m. would be crazy for me to wake up at 5. I wake up at 5 a.m. sometimes now too, but that's because I have a puppy Siberian Husky. It's not because I want to network at 5 a.m. Although since I'm up, I might as well. Uh, yep, thank you, Nancy. Nancy says Clubhouse is 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Carla is adding more color to her comment. I work with small pharmas only, specifically phase one. Carla, smart. You and I think alike. We do need to talk. Let me know what kind of phone you have because that will determine if you can get on Clubhouse or not. Regardless of your phone, you should get on the Latinos in Clinical Research because we have to we have to network on there. We have the presenter every uh, once a month. They present for about 30 minutes or so, and then we open it up for like 10 minutes of question and answer. And then we open it up for like 20 minutes of networking. Who are you? What do you need? My name is Carlo. This is what I do. My name is Neha. This is what I do. My name is Mirror Game. This is what I do. Uh, is Clubhouse available only on Apple products? Yes. As of right now, yes. To those watching in the future, welcome. Uh, I am getting on Clubhouse. Good, good, good. I love Huskies. Also good, good, good. So that's it, guys. Uh, Clubhouse is my networking plan. That's right, Christine. Then and it's a good one. It's a good one, and it's already paying off. And um, yeah, Christine's up to big things. I don't know how much I should say, but Christine's up to big things. And then shout out to Real Time CTMS. That's right. That's right. We have a conference call with them. We're moving and shaking thanks to our ambassadors and our co-founders at Latinos in Clinical Research. Moving and shaking. ACRP has great webinars, great networking, additional training for anyone in research. That's right. Uh, what is mostly great is that most people in the pharma companies are in there, and it's a great way to network. There you go. That's one thing I haven't done. I haven't networked through ACRP or Socra. For me, it's been all 100% social media with the occasional in-person conference. Occasionally. And my most favorite thing was when I had pre-COVID, when I had the event, like a physical event that was free. So there was like 50 people that showed up um, in 2019. This was October 2019. And it was a su really successful event. We had speakers on. It was absolutely free. We had catering. I mean, we paid for like caterers to come. We set it all up with mics and everything. We had a videographer. We had vendors come in, sponsor. Shout out to Creo, clinicalresearch.io. Uh, that, that was my favorite way to network was in person. But there's obviously limitations to that, meaning people have to travel. People came from all over the place. We had people from North Dakota, from Utah, and it was in Southern California. Of course, we had a bunch of Southern California people. Um and post covid i don't know when we're gonna do that but we'll probably do that again that was good so we'll probably do it again i need christine your media person carla i actually know somebody um 
our social media person from uh christine's amazing she's our ambassador our social media manager for latinos in clinical research and now for me as well um she's a freelancer and she's in mexico city so if you need a good social media person relatively affordable just message me on linkedin and i can introduce you she's on linkedin too so i can introduce you there our realtor is really good. I thank him for showing us the office space. I was very impressed with the, his professionalism, and he sent me a reply. It was great meeting you guys as well. Don't thank me yet. We have a job to do. See, this is what, guys, there's a difference between go-getters and not go-getters. Okay. Real recognize real. Sorry, kind of new to the channel. What is really Clubhouse? Wow. We've got a rabbit hole to get down. It's uh, basically live streaming with audio. And we actually wrote an article about it. So here, here, um, mirror game, mirror game. Go to latinosinclinicalresearch.com. Click on educational. Click on written articles. And scroll down. You will find um, Clubhouse. On February 9th, we wrote an article. Checking out Clubhouse. Exclusive social media site brings the elite together. That's the title. Um, Nancy says, Nancy's explaining. Clubhouse is a social networking site, voice only. Currently iPhone only. If you need an invite, contact me on LinkedIn. There you go, Nancy. Good for you. Nancy's learning how to do this. So yeah, just go on uh, Latinos in Clinical Research, educational, written articles. I just noticed I got to put a search function on there. Because right now you just got to scroll. There's no search. That's easy. Easy fix. I'll do it in two minutes. Uh, Carla Vera Navas, I've interned with Dan and I'm looking for more opportunities. There you go. There you go. This is the way to network. Um, oh, how's it going, guys? How's it going? So, yeah. I'm in SoCal. Do you know of any good resources for learning Spanish medical terminology? That is a question for Latinos in clinical research. I, I don't, but I know two of our co-founders, Monica and Judy, uh, they're also in SoCal, and they would know. I know Judy especially is, like, really passionate about translation things anything involving translation she's very passionate about that she actually has some vendors that she's identified already so it's uh, a lot of good stuff there all right guys i'm gonna go uh catch up on some emails before a clubhouse but thank you guys very much for attending and catch y'all later bye bye